album is called Traces and Spaces by The Shamanic. And most likely, we're going to do Fire as our first single. Incredible. I think the other one that we're actually going to do after that is going to be which you know, what's the name of that? Higher. Higher. So we didn't really choose it, it just happened. I think uh, that organically just came together. The energy of this is a so-called kind of like a disco-y 90s kind of track, right? And the fact that Andrea uh, Love, the vocalist, uh, wanted to be involved in the project, and I dragged her into the shamanic thing that we're doing. So I thought it was great, right? Yeah, well, that's awesome. And it came together organically, and to me, that that's magic. The overall arc of this too was, um, and this was this was we wrote we wrote the the spirit of this was pre-COVID, but the idea again is there's a lot of dark music out there, there's a lot of darkness out there. Um, we wanted to create music if we were going to put our own imprint on it that was inspirational. And I feel in particular that, you know, we were talking about the roots of Chicago and Chicago gospel music and Chicago house music and Chicago blues music, that this was something that we could take in this genre and really kind of lift people up with the spirit of not only the lyric, but the, but the vocalists that we're using, you know, the talent that we have, that we're bringing to this, these are people that, you know, um, as you'll see Andrea, she just lights up a room with, like, her, her essence. That and video of her singing fire, it just, it just ma it's making people happy. I yeah, like it. everybody that I've played She's it She's smiling, and it's like, it just feels good. As you're going through it for those three minutes, it just feels good watching her sing to you. It's amazing. Right. You know, we can, we can survive the fire. In essence, is the message. Yeah. We can survive. We can. We can. We can take it, and we can be better, and we can go higher. And that's what that song is all about. And the way that we use the music, because the music is inspirational in its in its influence and its origin, um, and especially you know, I was able to work some of the harmony into that. That that, that literally it lifts you. It lifts you into that chorus. That pre-chorus. We go down, and then the vamp it a little bit, and then we then, yeah. the, then the then the way that the harmony is structured, <laughs> it brings it back up with the melody, and so when it comes in, you feel like you've left and you've come back, and here we are. When we did Fire, we didn't write lyrics necessarily. I think it came in stages. And basically, Andrea started the first stage of writing a chorus to Fire. And then after four, a Fire was done, uh, the chorus was done, she came Can and she, had, she hung out it? with me and Craig in the studio. Can you we feel actually did it? it? Let me get that one more time. Let me hit that one more time. So again, she reacts to a track that we give her. We'll concept ideas but we like to throw the ideas out and let someone bring it back to her. So she came in with something rough, and then when we got in here, we threw lyrical ideas all together right. until we arrived at, oh, this really encapsulates what the story is. You know what's really funny about that it. too, now that I remember it, was the fact that when we had the initial track, I just felt like it didn't have enough energy, remember? Yeah. And then I went, uh, after she laid down the vocals, I went back to his, I, I stood overnight and I redid the drum tracks and everything, and I bought them over. And we listened to it, and you said, you listen to it, it goes so much better. I was like, yes. 